So, Reacher Season 2 released at the end of last year, and has been nothing short of a massive success with stats like this. Reacher Season 2 was a huge hit for Prime Video, becoming the number one title of the year in terms of total viewers globally, with the first three episodes surpassing the entire audience for Season 1 by 50% in just three days on the platform. And so I am more than happy to be finally doing a positive video on a modern series. It's about damn time. It's about damn time. And also, this is just more proof that audiences are sick of modern crap like this. You can help him get home and then you'll never see me again. You're assuming he as a pronoun. True. Yes. Sorry. Good point. Are you... I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. Because I feel like Star Wars is, is very, like, patriarchal. Are you... Lost boys. Every last one of us. But you're not all boys. So? Here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't I will get called emotional or difficult or I might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. And clearly audiences just want TV and film to go back to being storytelling focused and not being more focused on pushing messages above the actual story and the entertainment value of the overall series. And no, that's not me saying anything without a huge buff ass kicking male is pandering political bullshit because there are great movies like Talk To Me or Gran Turismo that are also terrific even though they're not necessarily an overly masculine movie and they're not about kicking ass and they're not about tailoring the story to men. Those are just good stories and that's exactly why they succeeded because they focused on the story and stayed truthful to the story they were trying to tell rather than trying to pander politically to try and win social points. And when it comes to a movie like Talk To Me especially, it puts the plot, the story and the cinematic elements first before for their own political beliefs. It has become a thing that's gone on, it seems like in this, especially this last year, where, um, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking at? Uh, 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 ideology is more important than art. Way more, certainly to the awards. Yeah, and it's just, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, ideology right. trumps art. That, ideology right. trumps it's individual terrible. effort. Ideology trumps good. Ideology trumps yeah, entertaining. There's two kinds of movies, virtue signalers yeah, uh -huh. and superhero movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's for that reason that Reacher is such a smash hit as well, because this show was clearly made with passion and love for the story and for the genre. And most importantly, it puts the audience first in trying to entertain them, but not in that bland way where it's just safe and predictable. No, this is a surprising show and takes various creative risks, but was clearly made with good intentions with a good fun story in mind in particular to make sure that audiences had a good time watching it and just how vital is it that audiences have films of this ilk where they can just go into the cinema and just enjoy themselves for 90 minutes or you know 100 minutes for me i think it's the only reason to watch a film um i'm not i mean like i think most of the movies are nominated for Oscars, put me to sleep. And that's what I really love most about this show, because you just have a fun time watching it. And while it can get very serious at times, you still overall find joy watching it, and it really does rekindle my love for series and for television, because as of late, they've really been disappointing me. You're flailing. You're weak. Are you serious right now, bro? But this one is just so good that it really does reinvigorate my passion for it. And it's stories like this that make me love the art form of filmmaking because it brings people together rather than dividing people like so many modern shows and films. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. Of course, uh, the word fascist has changed. Traditionally, the word fascist meant a member of a far-right authoritarian regime that uses militarism and violence to suppress individual rights. Now, the word fascist can mean like to Joe Rogan tweet. 
So... Because no matter your opinions or life circumstance, you will definitely enjoy Reacher because it's a story based on human truths rather than personal opinions and biases. Because this is where I see so many other movies and shows fail nowadays, and it's because the filmmaker places their own opinions and beliefs as 100% fact, and that anyone who disagrees with it is automatically wrong or bigoted. So, Marshall Robin Hood is getting rating bombed 1.6 out of 10 now you probably why would someone do that it's just some tv show well being that robin is actually a black woman this time the angry nerd community is very upset in fact from the moment it was announced these guys lost their minds what Bro, what are you talking about, man? When really the only way you can tell a good story is by acknowledging that we are all wrong about some things or have biases or the fact that there sometimes is just not one answer. And so by building a story based on human truths and having fully fleshed out flawed characters, we can actually tell a great and honest story like Reacher. And the thirst for this kind of storytelling is 100% growing as clearly the audience is tired of being divided and tired of Hollywood filmmakers being holier than thou. Superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent. And I'm so glad that results in shows like Reach are succeeding because it goes to prove that there are many studios out there that are actually listening to the fans that do want to deliver great pieces of entertainment and really we're coming to the point where the only studio still stuck in their ways of trying to pander and trying to win social points with every release is really just Disney as now we have studios like Amazon which are clearly showing that they're willing to listen to the audience and now finally deliver something we all enjoy. It's about damn time. It's about damn time. And hopefully this just results in more shows like Reacher coming out in the future. So I do think it's important when a great show like this comes along every once in a while for all of us to band together and show that support for the show and really voice how good it really is and why we need more stories like this because hopefully that can get the word to these studios and hopefully result in more movies and stories coming out like this one. But what are your thoughts on Reacher Season 2 being an all-out success? Let me know down below below in the comments and if you like the video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you all on my next video